Hello. Hey, hey, how are you? <laughs> Doing great. What about yourself? I'm good. I'm good. I'm cooking. I'm baking. I'm doing stuff that I haven't done really, or I normally am not in the practice of doing on a daily basis. Trying to, you know, make some good choices, but then, you know, it's so funny how I just like pull things out of the pantry and then I make like banana nut bread with extra sugar, <laughs> things, you know. <laughs> I have totally noticed that about myself where it's like, you know, we just resort, we resort to comfort eating sometimes when we're, you know, especially when we're bored, it becomes like mindless really. And it's like, yeah, I do the same. I'll just go to the pantry and, you know, see what I have. Thankfully, one of the things, you know, and that's why I love, you know, we we're going to talk about just healthy snacks and mindful eating. One of the things I do is I make sure I don't have very many unhealthy options at the house. <laughs> just with so good to have around right now. Oh, what was that? It's, it's, I said, those are so good to have around right now. <laughs> totally. Yeah, and, you know, and I get it. I mean, there's times where I'm like, I just want to snack on some chips, you know, and there's healthy chips, you know, there's healthy versions of different things that you can do. And that's one of the things, you know, we do as a household is minimize the unhealthy choices. So when we do the mindless eating, <laughs> we at least have, you know, more of the healthy choices you know because right. mm -hmm. um, I'm noticing it I'm definitely going to the fridge I see my husband doing it my mom even at times and we're just just going in there out of boredom yes yes one of the easiest things to do because remember food from the time we were kids right we have this relationship with food and it starts as a young child when you didn't feel good as a child like if you were upset or if you were sad or if you were you were always given food in order to comfort you. That, this is, I mean, this is like, certainly in our culture, I mean, I remember this clearly, you know, my grandmother's kitchen was like so comforting, you know, yeah. because that's just culture, right? Mm -hmm. So now that one, we're uncomfortable, two, we're completely bored, right? For the most part, many hours of the day, you know, we're like, oh, I'm, what am I gonna do? And I'm at home, so what do I do at home? I eat, I relax, you know, that sort of stuff. Yeah. It's easy to just mindlessly consume food when we're not hungry, when, you know, maybe when we're thirsty, but we think we're hungry, that sort of stuff. So, that's what really can yeah. happen, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, so really it's just, that's, you know, and it's fine to do so, you know, but the only thing is I would say also see be mindful and like really ask your body, you know, ask your body, not your tongue. <laughs> our tongue is very <laughs> disease deceiving and our tongue is always about the taste buds. Um, and really you just like listen to your body because our body will always, again, we've talked about the intelligence of the body and our body is always communicating with us and it will let us know what is it that we need. And right now nutrition is a big part of it, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The point here, I, I think today is be mindful of what you consume, or at least try to be mindful. Or, you know, another thing that I did actually a couple of days ago that was really good is I cut up a bunch of fruit and vegetables and put it on a plate and just mm -hmm. put it on the kitchen counter. So then when we were like in and out, you know, I noticed that that's what we would reach for. Yep. So that's also something good to do rather than like look at, at least that's planning some snacks and that you know and then that way at least you've it's mindful still rather than this mindless, like just let's grab and go yeah and another tip that I would love to share and again this is from my own household <laughs> sometimes what I notice is my husband will just grab a container or a bag and just eat out of it well I always say we'll grab a bunch you know like measure it out so that way you actually know how much you're consuming otherwise again it becomes mindless because you can be watching tv and next thing you know you finished a whole bag of chips so that's another thing that i really wanted to share because i noticed when people eat out of containers you have no idea how much you ate right so. well you know once the bag's gone yeah, yeah. No and then you're like oh <laughs> gee that was a lot right and then you have no idea what the actual like your body probably didn't even need all that you know so yeah. Awesome. This was good. Yeah. 
it's a great one for hump day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, be well, be healthy. I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, you too. Get some healthy snacks out there. (laughs) (laughs) Bye. Bye.